a new year and I'm almost new here. Hey everybody, welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast, Season 2, Episode 40. We did it, we hit 40. Round of applause from the studio audience. It's getting worse and worse and worse. It sounds like, it sounds like, it sounds like the Tin Man is back there just having a damn blast, like a party. Hey everybody, welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast, Season 2, Episode 40. We're coming off an episode where I exposed too much. I read the comments. Uh, just my voice cracked. I'm going through puberty again. Um, I, I, I read the comments. I exposed too much, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry I exposed so much about my life. But this is what the You Should Know podcast is all about. It's all about me being super vulnerable, co-host Cam making fun of me, being the normal guy, and then us as a family coming together and sharing our experiences. But I'm fine because I know y'all love me. I'm fine exposing my life. I'm sure it's going to happen more this episode. But if you want to be officially a part of the family, and you should know family is strong and we are like this. I'm not sure what this means for the audio listeners. My hand's in a fist. But if you look below and you see that, and you see that subscribe button isn't pressed, you're wrong. If you look even more below that and you see that comment section is fulfilled with your name, guess what? Even more wrong. Now. Christmas just happened. I hope everybody had a fa la 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 Christmas. I want y'all to do something for me. If you bought somebody some merch and you gave it to them as a Christmas gift and you have a video of them opening it up, can you please send it to either me, co-host Cam, or put it in the Discord? Just DM it to us on Instagram at PSH8 at Cam Kennedy22, right? Cam Kennedy22? Uh, DM us that video. We would love to. We would love to have that experience of, of witnessing that. That's awesome that y'all got that as a surprise for some people. But we did get. We came back to the studio after uh, Christmas, which is today, and we got a gift from the lovely Eliza. 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 Eliza, sorry I, for pronouncing your name wrong. She's also the one that got us Kevin here, and she got me and Cam matching Carhartt hoodies. This is so awesome. Thank you so much. You did not have to do this. Uh, we actually are going to rock these. These are like, act like they are thick, thick Johns. Like, this is some really nice stuff. So, we really appreciate that and everything we get in the P.O. box. Thank you so much. This means the world to us. Me and Cam are going to wear these on an episode. Uh, one day, and we're going to be matching, and it's all because of you, Eliza. Thank you so much. And also, we have a winner. We have a winner for the Manscaped Performance Package ah, ah, that we have been talking about for people that ordered merch, uh, $50 or above. We randomly selected a winner, and the winner is... I was expecting a round of applause. I mean, a drum roll. Drum roll. And the winner is... Jared Peroni. I hope I said your last name wrong. Jared Peroni. Thank you so much. Did I say that wrong? Oh, I hope I said your name right, Jared. I'm so sorry. I'm tired. Yeah, I got some of that Christmas fog still in me. That bunch of eggnog went straight to my nugget. Thank you so much for buying merch, and congratulations on this performance package. It should show up to your door anytime now. And for the people that want the signed merch, um, that's going to be coming to you. We've just been super busy, but all that stuff is going to come to you. So thank you, Jared. This is yours. Payton is touching on it. So now you got my hand grease on your box. Oh, my God. That's <laughs> I'm so sorry, Jared. Jared, I'm sorry. We got, we got co-host Cam. We got co-host Cam. It's gonna be one of those episodes. We got co-host Cam in the studio. Um, me, me and Cam are probably not gonna argue this episode. We're not going to debate. It's where we still got some. We're coming off that Christmas jolly holly spirit. We're ready for the new year. We got some great New Year stuff coming for y'all. We got some great surprises, some elevation in the podcast, new stuff coming. I'm so excited for this new year. Let's end 2022 with a bang. Um, I love y'all so much. Last episode of 2022. Let's make it a good one. On to us podcast. Hey fellas, this episode of the You Should Know podcast is brought to you by our favorite 
producers of ball trimmers. Manscaped, the global leaders in below the waist grooming, are leaving 2022 with brand new products. Preserve cologne and preserve body wash. 2023 is the year to up your hygiene game and smell amazing. And Manscaped wants to help you do so with this special offer. Use code PSH for 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com. Take the leap into the new year and join the 7 million men who already trust Manscaped. 2023. Some of y'all were funky in 2022. Let's not do that. I'm one of them. But I wasn't funky all the time because when I used Manscaped, I was smelling like mwah. Let's go into 2023 smelling like mwah using those new products that Manscaped is offering to y'all. Like the Preserve Cologne, the body wash. All that stuff is available at Manscaped. So get 20% off in free shipping with code PSH at Manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at Manscaped.com. Happy New Year to your balls. Now back to the rest of the podcast. The You Should Know Podcast. Ooh, we got co-host Cam back in the studio. So show them our handshake. We've never shown them our handshake. To the audio listeners, I'm so sorry. They just heard a bunch of friction on the... the <laughs> How was your Christmas, buddy? It was good. It was great. We had a great Christmas day. Fun at the game? So fun. Uh, great time. Amazing seats. You sound so sad. It was no, good time. I'm sorry. I was just good. Like, it was fun. I was like awkwardly out of breath. But um, <laughs> wonder no. why. Great time. <laughs> great times. Uh, great seats. Great game. Great time. Um, we say that one more time. Great time. <laughs> uh, we were in Oklahoma for about four days. Good old Oakleyville. That. Got to see family, friends. Um, all, all of Live Side. It was really fun. Just. It's always good to step away and go see them and just enjoy family. You sound like there's like a gun to you right now. <laughs> like you sound like, I'm like uh, uh. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks for asking. My Christmas was good too. <laughs> yeah, I went back home. I saw the dog. <laughs> Jesus. Sorry. How was your Christmas? No, Yo, you don't give a shit. Okay. Well, New Year's is coming up. So. New Year's is, are we, are we going to spend New Year's, New Year's together? Mm, please. Maybe. I want you to be my New Year's smooch. Nah, my New Year's smooch is going to be Olivia. You can kiss Malcolm. I'm going to be here. You can kiss Ruby. I will kiss Ruby. There you go. Good old Are we Ru- doing something for... for- uh, by the way, a lot of people don't know this. Ruby's government name is Rubith. R-U-B-I-T-H. Rubith Janelle Meredith Gray Kennedy. From Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. It's, I've never seen that show. It's a horrible television. It's not, but it's okay. We're all, we're both wa- rocking the Yushino merch. So they can get it at yushinostudios.com. You're staying cold. It's getting cold outside, bro. It's around this time... It Stuff is. starts to, right after Christmas, it starts it. to decline. I love it. I love you it. You love it? I love it. Like, I finally can go outside and, like, put on multiple layers. Like, several layers. I don't like, I don't like wearing layers like that. It's cold outside. Yeah, but but wearing layers like that, it makes me feel like I can't breathe. Like, it makes me feel like, it makes me feel like my, like my water hose is wound up. You yeah, know what I mean? It's because you have the rib cage of, like, a small feline. Like, you know, you're not, you're not well supported by your bone structure. So, yeah, I mean, no, just put on layers and it's great. Cam wears ear mittens when he goes I out. I don't. You set your microwave on fire. I did. That was the I didn't, I didn't funniest thing. I didn't set it on fire. It was, it was so weird because I literally looked at the Chick-fil-A sandwich. <laughs> And I opened it up and I said, there's foil. I was like, but it's in this package. It should be fine. Had a super brain fart. Threw that joint in the microwave, literally turned around. There was like, it was like sage witchcraft. (laughs) There was was like blue, There's blue fireworks going on in there. Oh my gosh. Olivia was like, (laughs) and I was like, what? And I turned around, I was like, (laughs) and I was like, oh my God. I opened it. It was still on fire. Like the whole thing was just sitting on fire. So I was like. This man goes, pat it down with your hand. Yeah, right. What do you want me to Here's do? like a flame. I was like, I was like, that's not doing anything. Took it, put it under some water. Yes or no, did I still take the sandwich out and eat it? A hundred percent. Yeah, I was so Your hungry. stomach's a bottomless pit. You no, said it smelled, it, it tasted it, it, like it campfire? T- it tasted like flame. Like it was not, it was just, it tasted like absolute uh, fire. Like It smelled like carbon monoxide in that yeah, apartment. It was, it, was a, it was a horrible dinner, but... Um, <laughs> Chick-fil-A never disappoints. I just disappointed them. So sorry. You but, disappointed uh, me too. Okay, but that's okay. You disappoint me every day. Or, uh, er, no, you don't, but... Why do you do that? I mean, it's because I love you. You pick on the ones you love. You do that to me too you much. You pick on the ones you love. 
You never say you never say like Peyton, I appreciate you and everything you do. You say never said When have you ever said that to me? All the time. Name one time. Earlier today. <laughs> Literally got to the studio, I said, Love you, bro. Appreciate everything you do. Oh my god. <laughs> Cam thinks I'm an expendable friend. So tell me out. You what do you mean you don't like layers? When it's cold, like <laughs> see, see how he moves past that topic. You need, you need, I'm an expendable friend to him. You need, yeah, but you. Need, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. You're all I have. <laughs> you need layers. You need layers for warmth. Yeah, I just Hence don't. The hoodie. She she didn't send us a a Carhartt T-shirt hoodie. <laughs> no, no, I agree. If you go out in the cold, you should. You I just a, don't go out in the cold. You need a beater, a shirt, a hoodie, then a coat. Minimum. You wear earmuffs. I've, I don't own, nor have I ever owned You wear your room. mom's. You literally walked out of Lisa's home with earmuffs on, and they were... Uh, the only thing I've ever put on my head is a beanie. They were flannel. <laughs> yeah, when I put a beanie on my head, yeah, I look... Yeah, I know. I did not have a flannel pattern earmuff. What is this, a Lifetime movie? I did not wear earmuffs. Oh, now there's horns and reindeers on them? What are you talking about? He's... Oh, snort boy. Hey, piggy. Get it together. They were fuzzy. Oh, they were fuzzy and protruding. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Your hip is bad. It is. All Can right. you say one nice thing about me? What? Coming off the Christmas holiday, say one, one nice, nice thing, thing about, about me? Yes. Mm -hmm. You don't look... Er, well, Not about my look, about me as a person. Okay. You're very... Um, you're a good man. Great friend. How am I a good friend? I said great friend. How am I a great friend? Well, it's clearly not your listening skills because I said great friend. But <laughs> I'm a great friend. Like you're what a great about friend me? because you think about others when you do things. Like what? When have I done that? All the time. Like you think Give about you specific. put other people's uh, opinions and their what they want to do. You, you just you, you're like water. You just flow the easiest way. You, you never you don't make things hard. If we want to go here, you go. If we want to do this, you do that. Why don't you ever say that to me? I just did. Why don't you say that to me everyone. without me asking? I just said that. Why don't you say it to me without people asking? Because normally people don't have to fish for compliments like that. Because people give them. I do give them. You've never given me. You always say, ooh, you look like a little cricket boy. You look like you belong in men. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, Cam's, I have a broken hip. If, if you the do. world didn't, I don't. But Your hip is, it is bad. Hurt. It still hurts. Um, I need to re-enlist into uh, PT. No, nah, but for what are we doing for, the, for, uh, for New Year's? I want to do New Year's. Something we can go somewhere. We can go to the crib. We can do some. Mama Liv can whip some. But if we're doing, up. if we're staying at a home, let's go to mine. Because <coughs> I live. That was a burp. I live in a, in the city, and there's gonna be telelights. Uh, oh, like my parking garage, you can see the whole thing, so we can see like all the <gasps> all the all the stuff in there. Have some champagne. Oh. <laughs> Have some champagne. Some champagne. And then we we put your fingers down. We're like a charcuterie. We're not kissing. You can kiss Ruby. I'm kissing Olivia. I didn't say I want to kiss you. You did. You're a freak. No, New Year's is a good time though. New Year's is it's always New Year's parties are fun. Though honestly, a pet peeve though is something just like an ick of mine is when people like they're so either they're so inebriated or mm -hmm. they're just so in the moment that they don't even sync with the countdown. So like, it literally on the screen it's like three or it's like seven, six, mm -hmm. and they're like five, four, three, two. It's like, dude, at least get the count. Like, that's literally your only job right now. It's on the screen. There's an enormous ball going down. There's so many lights, and you just, you don't do it. We, let's talk about inebriated people, because I have a lot of pet. I hate being around inebriated people, especially if I'm not, because they're so touchy. And they're so, I hate, they are. I hate the people touchy. that talk into my cheek. I turn into Dr. Phil. I don't touch, but I'm just like, what, what problems you got? Uh, no, let me, let me, let me well, that's what we're the same. We're therapists. Yeah, let me, let me fix it. Let me, yeah, let yeah. me give you some advice. No, you know who I am? I'm always asking, do, do you need something? I'm always the person Ooh. like, you want me to grab you something? Yeah, it sounds, I heard that when you walked in. Listen. They can't hear it, so it doesn't matter. No, you. Yeah, but it's, we're for here for them. But you. But basically, it sounded like am you. I not remember like in college all the time? I would always be like, "You need something?" Yeah. I always come up to you. Hey, can I help you? It's like, what are you on shift? Like, just go to your dorm. <laughs> like, I got, I got myself. I never told you this one time. Whenever I was You're because sick and broke. <laughs> um, I mean, no, dude, JUCO was a dark time. Like, I'm, it was great, but we were so broke. Oh my god, I'm watching Last Chance You right now, like, and we're so broke, we couldn't even couldn't even pay attention, dude. <laughs> That was, a, that was a good old. Your hands are clammy. No, that's you. Dry. Feel my hands. Dry as can be. My hands are not clammy. Neither are mine. And you know yes. they're not. You're I literally soft. felt it and it was. Does that look like. You, I literally saw you wipe them. I'm saying yeah, there's nothing clam there. Yeah, clam boy. Yeah, Mr. Krabs. All right. Whatever, dude. You bikini bottom. Dude, I saw like a thing about that. That's sick. Well, tell me. Let's it's do fun. it. No. 
Basically, SpongeBob is like, oh, I never. Okay, we can't. I, I know. Talk about you said tell me, so I'm, I hope I'm you come, come to the podcast with some fun stuff to I'm talk about. Listen to what Boss says. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, hey, New Year, New Year's Eve. I had. Did I ever tell you about my thing? My, <clears throat> it's it's hard to talk about. You can't even say it. So, <laughs> did I ever tell you about how I had my first? Did I ever tell Just you? Get it out. Did I ever tell you about how I had my first kiss on New Year's Eve and it was the most traumatizing experience oh ever? Dude, you, the, oh God, the, amount, the, the worst amount of trauma you have is just, it's unbelievable. I had the worst New Year's kiss of all time. Let's hear it. I, it was like, I was in like middle school or something, like eighth grade, and I've never kissed anybody, but there was this girl in my grade who I had the biggest crush on. She was so beautiful. She's pregnant now and she has two kids. But... <laughs> Could have, could have saved that. Could have just kept that upstairs. But <laughs> if they need a stepfather of you, <sighs> you're delusional. Yeah, you're sicko. Um, but Eighth yeah, grade. I had the biggest crush on her. She was so beautiful, and she was one of those ones that she kind of acted like I didn't exist. But whenever she did talk to me, it it made it me feel like she loved day me. Up. Yeah, I thought she was in love with me when she talked to me. And so, really, you were like her sympathy talk. Oh yeah, yeah. I was. Oh, let me give this guy two minutes of attention. And was, you're just like, oh, she notices me. Yeah, my teeth. Notice are like, me. <laughs> notice me. <laughs> and my teeth are like this, and I smelled bad, and I had long hair. So she never really gave me the Get time of day. <laughs> but around New Year's time. Um, she was having a New Year's party at her house. She was like the most popular girl. And so she was having a New Year's party with all the popular kids. And I wasn't a popular kid, but I was cool with everybody. Wait, you weren't popular with flat iron straight hair? And you looked like Troy Polamalu and you had a tail? You weren't popular? And you smelled bad with crooked teeth? Really? <laughs> Couldn't have guessed, huh? So she invited me and she said, yeah, my parents are throwing a New Year's party at my house. You want to come? My heart, yeah, like it was like a platoon of butterflies just yeah, got released just, into my ah, stomach. Just chef's kiss. I was like, this is my time. And she invited me. So I thought she wanted to she be wanted my me New Year's to kiss. Be there on New Year's to where we can exchange a kiss. Yes. Yeah, I was like, she wants to be my New Year's kiss. She wants to smooch Peyton on I'm, New Year's. I'm in there. Oh my God. I was We've so excited. It. Mama, we made it. God did. And so I went to the New Year's party, right? And I was so anxious, so nervous. I didn't talk to anybody. I was literally pacing. Literally. Everybody oh, was, God, everybody, everybody was playing Scrabble, doing kid games, pin the tail on the donkey. Everybody had a hat on. I had my hat on, but it didn't really fit my hair. <laughs> so I was just like pacing Your around. Tail the tail was tucked. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just, uh, I was just pacing around the party, right? Just I couldn't sit still. Like dude, that, like that right there. They're all like, God, who's this weirdo? <laughs> Sit down. And so they, they had these sun these New Year's sunglasses on the table. So I just walked around with those trying to hide my eyes and my angst, walking around with New Year's glasses on, just pacing. Everyone was like, this kid is a freak. All I can remember is that they had a hot chocolate machine and queso. So doesn't sound like that bad of a party. But it's not a good concoction for the tongue and the breath. Oh yeah, no. That's a that's I mean that's a garbage disposal. Like that's that's full blown Liquid, hot, liquid garbage. No, yeah, my, my, uh, got the cocoa powder, hot, boiling hot water, cheese, whatever else is inside of it, just all just, just a little jambalaya. For the yeah, mouth. I walked around that party talking like a dragon. Like everybody was like, hey. they're like, whoa, shit, oh my God. I had the hottest breath in that party going into the next year. <sighs> It was getting closer to midnight, so I was just I was anxiously eating all the all the nachos, yeah, just drinking the hot chocolate. <laughs> So my breath, and I just had, and my teeth were su super spaced out. So it was just a bunch of chip chunks in my teeth oh. and just hot chocolate sitting on the tongue. Oh. Recipe for disaster. So I, around the time of midnight, I could see that she was eyeing me. She was trying to see like Peyton come up to me. I took one more hit of that hot cocoa, oh. took three more chips to the, to the mouth. I was like, it's time to go. Oh. I didn't really, this is my first kid, so I didn't think of how my breath was, right? And it was super cold, and I had I always had a runny nose problem in school. Oh. <laughs> Everybody in school knew me to be the guy in class to go, and like wipe my nose. I was always that kid. Oh, God. So, you poor soul. I was so sweaty, and I smelled awful. Oh my God. So Your mom, dude, if she was a fly on the wall of this, she'd be so ashamed. Like she truly would. So I re I just remember her like angelically walking up to me, and I was just like blinking a lot. 
<laughs> and she goes, she goes, it's almost midnight. And I go, oh. You're like, yeah, it is. <sighs> I'm ready. So let me untuck my tail. So she goes, let's go to the corner because my parents are right there. So I was like, oh, she really wants this kiss. Her parents were in the living room with everybody, like monitoring, being good parents. She's like, let's go to this corner in the kitchen where they're not at. We could hear the countdown. She was fishing for this kiss. She was fiending for it. I swear I smelled like salmon. Like I smelled like salmon, cheese, and and cocoa. Just tortilla chips, marshmallows. I mean, you got it all going on. That's sick. A little bit of snot started to oh come. Oh my god! And I was, and she was looking at me, so I couldn't wipe it. I didn't want her to see that the snot was going down, and I was wiping it. So I was just letting it go. And so I, I pray that this story ends with you just blessing that girl and not kissing her, just removing yourself. He got the, got to the point where the snot started to hit the top lip a little bit. Oh my god! Like fix yourself. It was too late. We were at five on the countdown. I had to go. You had five seconds to wipe it off. She was looking at me. I didn't want to go and then kiss her. So I was just like, hopefully she doesn't see it. As we got closer, I didn't close my eyes because I wanted to make sure this was real. You're a serial killer. <laughs> oh my God. You smell like everything that you could possibly eat. You're staring her in her soul. You got snot running down. This is probably in this girl's reoccurring nightmare to this day. I mean, straight up sleep terrors, night terrors because of you. So... As I was getting closer, I didn't like close my eyes or close my mouth because I was nervous and I was a mouth breather back then. So all, all what the, else? All of the stench was just hidden. Oh my! You're making me uncomfortable. I was so excited, and she, I could see as we were getting closer, she was just like her eyes start to squint more, and she was going, like she was like bracing for something, and I was like, I'm not touched. Like I'm, is she in pain? Like did she get a sports injury? So I go in for the kiss, right? I'm sure one of my jacked up teeth jabbed her. She, all of the chips started to fall out of the teeth. The hot cocoa was just hitting her. And we kiss. I back up. I kid you not, just snot trail is connecting us still. I go. You need to leave. Like Lady in the Tramp. There's a noodle, but it's your it's your snot. Oh my <laughs> you it, okay, you're pigging out. I'm itching right now. I take my two fingers. I swipe down. And I go, Oh wow, that was really great. And she goes, No, it wasn't. <laughs> Do you <coughs> <coughs> Do you know how bold she like that took everything in her prop her her sweet little heart probably to just say that was awful. Oh, you're crying. You're crying. It was so embarrassing. Oh my god. I should have wiped my nose and brushed my teeth. Yeah, maybe lay off the tortilla chips, queso, hot chocolate. Oh my god. That's, if you're watching you're this, sick. I hope your kids are doing well. Yeah, I hope you. Ne- I hope you can sleep at night. I hope he doesn't haunt you in your dreams. I am sorry. I, oh my, to whatever your name is, I am so sorry. Oh my goodness. That's, you suck. Like, I feel bad for that woman. You can't even find, you can't even find, your hair, your hair, bro. Your hair, bro. Your hair, bro. Your hair, bro. It's been a week. I gotta start checking you. But I'm, you're not allowed to show up in headgear anymore. I have to check you. I'm going to say, like, there's going to be a security clearance. If you don't have a haircut, before we walk in, you're just going straight. You're going straight there. You're sniffing now. Oh. It's like the pizza store. You finger home. batting the snot down is like, that is, that's literally like level, like level 10 cringe. I was you trying to get it off her. I was trying to be a you gentleman. You were probably a creature and you went straight to Cretan. Like, you just, you skipped. You just got a new subscription. Straight Cretan level. That is, that is horrendous activity. <laughs> I was trying to like be a gentleman and get the snot off her. Oh my god, dude, that's literally not that's not sitting good with me. Like I'm I'm actually feeling queasy. And I bet whenever I was approaching oh. her and my mouth was open, she saw the chips Stop. in my teeth. Stop! Stop! Oh my god, dude, there's just like tortilla crumbs. 
that's something out of like a horror film. Like that is a nightmare. Don't touch me. That's so. That's. Oh my goodness. Oh, I oh woo. So kids, if you're about to have your first New Year's kiss, brush your teeth. Uh yeah, brush your teeth. Bring some mints. Lay off the queso. Bring a Kleenex. Maybe one yeah Kleenex. Uh, pop an allergy pill. <laughs> Just tr a troubled young man. Yeah. I mean, that is that is like some that's some main character stuff for real. Like, My second kiss, I accidentally I accidentally drooled in the girl's mouth because you know I have a drooling problem. <laughs> I was stuck. My mouth was watering. Because you're probably trying to you're probably trying to re up from last year, <laughs> the year prior. You're like, oh, this one's gonna be better. I'm gonna do a little extra, and you're just like, all right. Uh oh. Oh no, we're done. We're done. <laughs> Dude, New Year's is supposed to be. Oh my gosh. Dude, yeah. Oh my God. I remember I, I wore, I wore a. Uh, I don't know if this was ever a trend or if I was just whatever I was doing. I wore like a collared shirt, like a dress shirt, then like a sweater over it. Oh, boys choir stuff. Yeah, like you literally, like I had choir. a whole sweater on, with just like the the little like the hardened collar on the outside. Don't know who I thought I was. Oh my gosh. New Year's parties are just. Hilarious! Oh my no, goodness. they're not. No, they're they're. For, well, for you, yeah. For me, it was just fun times, friends, family. For you, it was just nightmares. Yeah, nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Oh my god, she's probably cringing to this day. You're, I mean, you just. I'm not that way anymore. I just stink sometimes. Okay, but like. But, but it's my anxious secretion. It's like, my anxious. You, I mean, secretion. you smell. You smell better than you did last week. Thank so you. I'll give you that. You probably did. You bathe. You probably bathed. You probably. Uh, you're thinking. Probably. You, and you probably bathe. How often do you reuse your towels after you shower? What do you mean? Every time I shower? No, but how often do you use the same towel? Oh, I was about to say, like, what do you want me to air dry or something? Like, what, <laughs> a one use limit? Um, I'd say, I'd say about three to four. Sh what? You're disgusting. Three to four showers for one towel. You're I'm disgusting for that. Three to four showers, one towel. How many towels do you have to just dispose of one a day? I have a washing machine. I don't put the same nasty too. towel that I just used on my undergarments area and then dry my face with it the next shower. You're disgusting. You're reusing towels for four showers? Nasty, man. I am disgusting? Yeah. How long did you go without bathing? How long did you do it? And I'm disgusting. You had a, a whole microbiome on your back. You had a realm of bacteria. They don't know how long I've gone without showering. S share it. I'm disgusting. The nerve on this guy. Don't put, don't, don't put that on the public. Th three to four. Okay. <laughs> three to four showers. You use it. You dry off. It sits there. It dries. You shower the next day. The longest. How long did you go without showering? The longest ever was three and a half weeks. Three and a, you you went a habitual cycle like it was it, you went tw it takes 21 days to build a habit and you did that you didn't even realize you weren't clean at that point you're disgusting don't do that in you're public. a sweaty We're in public. little boy it's a bad month y yeah do you just hear what you said <laughs> you went a 12th of a year without bathing and I'm disgusting because I take three showers in three days with the same towel Sometimes you just like you. It's like you forgot you had towels or something. You weren't bathing. Well, it's just I was going through something. What could you possibly be going through to not bathe for three weeks? I didn't smell bad that bad. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! You didn't smell that bad. You didn't smell that bad. You, you probably could grow things on your skin. Like you literally could have a farm of whatever you wanted to. Plant a seed on his shoulder. I still use deodorant. <laughs> At least, uh, so I did. There was probably a layer, a literal, you could probably, like a scratch off, a peel and play layer of just, of gunk built up on your underarms. We've all gone three weeks without showering. I have never, from the, from the conception of me, I have never gone three weeks without showering. It's okay, you're acting like that's like a natural thing for me. I just happened to the go. The fact that it's happened once is enough. That's insane. I washed my sheets like the week after that I doesn't matter. You can wash all your clothes. You're just putting your same disgusting, just all your orifices and all your body. You're sweating. That's the same thing as the towels. You're putting the same nasty stuff on the same towel. So you're saying you're cleaning your, your, your. I bet you don't even wash your legs. So you're, you're clean. You're drying off your legs and then putting that on your face tomorrow. 
nasty. You, you're flossing <laughs> after your shower. You're flossing, Dude. and then you go and say, "Oh, I need to dry off my face today." Hey. That's nastier than sh not showering for three weeks. You were, oh my god, you were drying off your dandruff with dead skin and then rubbing in sweat, masking it with Old Spice, and you thought you were good to go. And you want to talk to me about using the same towel for four, four showers. Four days. Four days. Three weeks. You will not They're gonna win think this I one. Stink. You will not win. You, matter of fact, I take it back. You know, I'm starting to smell something. Maybe you don't smell that good. You just, you re, you re pissed off my nose. You would have said something because it was when we lived together. You would have said something. If then I would have smelled bad. Then you probably went through three bottles of cologne in that time. Because if I didn't know that you had, that's honestly. No, I wasn't you're using. pissing me off. I wasn't, I wasn't. You're making me no, mad no, at myself. I wasn't using cologne whenever I would step out. I would just use the Febreze and go like that around my body. <laughs> just so I was pleasant to others. Dude, pleasant to others. You need to be pleasant to your soul. At that, your soul was dirty at that point. You didn't have a clean. You weren't a clean like. You didn't even have clean thoughts. Probably. You were just sick. You were sitting there rotting away. Like there's probably. Oh my god. You probably had just so many different bacteria on you. Well, I didn't brush for that whole time either. So. <laughs> I had George Washington teeth. It's like, did you go through a challenge? Like, were you vlogging this? What was happening? Did you uh, lose the worst bed of all time? It's just a little sad. A little, a little sad and musty. A little sad and soggy. Sad, soggy Rogers is who you were. You sick. You're a sick bastard. I don't know what. Like, three weeks is un... That is unexcusable. Try it. No. <laughs> no one try that. Ever. I should I should have committed a citizen's arrest against you. You you should have been detained. You should have been detained because at least there you can bathe. I wouldn't have bathed there either. I don't. Dude, you're, dude. Oh, you just act like you're better fact, than me. The fact that you thought you had any leeway to even argue with me on that is irking me to my core. It is pissing me off. Ooh, my name's Cam, and I bathe all the time. Would you rather use the same towel that you dried off your whole body with on your face the next day or not bathe for 21 days? You, okay, but you act like that's crazy. That is... I was using Febreze and deodorant. Febreze! That's what you use for the room when someone lets rips a fart. <laughs> I might have used it for my greenhouse. Oh my God. That was oh my God. What? I can't even, th like, dude, when I fart and I'm clean, they smell awful. You probably smelt like a dumpster fire. Like a, a literal trash pit. <gasps> oh, oh. They're gonna, they're gonna make fun of me. Oh, as they should. Honestly, like, I'll defend you till the death, but as Doesn't they seem like That's it. sickening. That's, that is just troublesome. It's not that bad. That's troublesome. You're being extra. Like, you, no, you should have been enlisted in, like, dirt camp. Like, a, like, literal, like, like a dirt camp. Like a straight up dirt camp. It's not that bad. You're oh now I know why you're so grimy at basketball. Like that's just your lifestyle. Like, dude. Oh, and I thought I thought he smelled bad. You gotta bleep that out. I gotta bleep that. I thought he smelled bad. Uh, who's the worst smelling person? I can't. Him. Hundred percent. I'm trying to think. If he you smelled like a nine to five, like a day's a day's edge of work. And like turkey, <laughs> like 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 meat. Okay, but honestly, have you ever like walked by me and be like, "You stink"? Last week, you were secreting a foul odor. Where? Here. Really? These same spots. Last week, oh, you tried oh. to lay on me and tell what Santa wanted for Christmas. I was getting all sorts of whiffs. No, my you, nose was in a boxing match for its life. You stink. Like I wish I was stopped up. You stink sometimes. You smell like environment. What? <laughs> like you smell like outdoors. Dude, and you smelled like a whole community, like a whole, in, like a whole hemisphere. You had every scent imaginable. You smell like a Labrador sometimes. After what? After you physical work out. exertion? Yeah. Exactly. You got like a swamp. I work out. I sweat. I go home and bathe. You smell like a Louisiana swamp. You were working out, sometimes. sweating, going to work, doing homework, sleeping. Bro, I just thought like, if, like if I were to work out, because there's been several times in my life I've worked out and I'm so tired I didn't take a shower. That's disgusting. Laid down. And the grime and like the disbelief that I am in that I'm in in myself overcomes that thought, and I get up and shower. 
You were sleeping in a twin XL for 21 nights. Dirty. Musty. Dude, you, I mean, you, you probably grew fur. Like, you probably grew a second <laughs> coat at some point. At some point. <laughs> it's not that bad, bro. It's on You're gassing it. It's not that bad. It's really not. Dude, you just, you pissed me off. I don't know what else to say. All right, let's do a challenge. Whoever goes the longest out showering, $3,000. I work here, so I don't have to see anybody. You don't. I, I was about to say, I can't. I cannot. $3,000. I can't show up to work and do that. $3,000. I can't. Because for me to do, for I, I can't. You wouldn't get in trouble. Yeah, I would. <laughs> Literally in the handbook. <laughs> they say you can't. Has to be well-groomed and taken care of in the handbook. So <laughs> serious. <laughs> what did you say it's for $3,000? I would be. I would then be put under citizen's arrest. I would lose my job. I'd have a meeting. The people at your job would will roast you too. The ones you work around, they would kill you. Oh, they'd hate it every day showing up. Oh, like the fact you the fact he's offering me that is sick, bro. You just I'm a betting man. You just <laughs> why are you striking me, dude? I have you ever been so hungry you've thrown up? No, I hate that though. Like, okay, what do you mean? There's no way you like. What'd you throw up? No, like your hunger. Did you just throw up thoughts? No, just like <laughs> and feelings. Did you hear that? What? You didn't just hear that? What? No. I feel like a dog whistle just went off in my ear. I might be shutting down. Yeah, because that fur that you grew. <laughs> um. No, there, I hate being so hungry when you can't eat. I hate that. Can you buy me Whataburger tonight? God, that sounds good. Please. That sounds very good. Please. I'm so hungry. Throw up? <laughs> um, no. That's, that's Speaking of food, there's something that I always wanted to try, and we're going to try it here right now. No, no. <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. It is a challenge food. When we sat down and we had our meeting, we had veto clauses. I'm veto. Dude, the last time you, you swindled me, fool me, what's the saying? Fool me once, shame on me. Shame on you. Fool me twice, it'd be shame on me. I'm not shaming myself. I'm not doing this. No, this is something... You tricked me into eating the Sahara Desert, Arizona wilderness, the hottest <laughs> ghost pepper, scorpion pepper chip there is. Well, we're going to do this one together. Here's a spoon. Take your spoon. Dude, I'm, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I cannot promise that I'm going to go through with this. I can't. I can't promise, bro. I cannot promise I'm gonna go through this. Now, this is something I've always wanted. I am to twitching, bro. Like you, I, this this right here is PTSD. <laughs> this is PTSD. Let me let me explain this Dude, to my you. My stomach's hurting. There's something that I've always wanted to try, and it's been a challenge back whenever we were like in middle school, and it reminded me because our friends from the land down under in I'm Australia. Shaking. No, no, no! Oh my God, no, 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 no. You used to eat this no, no. with pride. No, no. We're no. going to eat. No, we're not. So no, you son mind. of a bitch. No, no, dude. No, 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 no. Uh -uh. I've never tried Vegemite, but apparently it's no. the nastiest thing you could ever eat. No, bro. No, bro. No, bro. No, bro. No. No. So let's get a quick no. little whiff of this veg. You can only get this in like Australia. <laughs> no. Bro. I snuck this across no. the board. I take care of no. I no. I no. no, bro. No. I can't. I no. No, bro. I can't, bro. I do. I, I. That was a roid rage. I just had like. No, bro. Let's I am. Li look at my leg. I don't know if it's even picking up. I am. I am. This is good, dude. I respect you and your traumas. You share stuff every week, and I always have your back. I'm saying I want to veto this, and you're not listening to me. <laughs> it's open up oh this container. Oh I've heard this is disgusting. No, bro. No, it's called, bro. it's a yeast extract. <laughs> what does no. that even mean? No. Like, it's like childproof. Oh, Kim, it's dog food. It smells like straight it's kibbles so and bits. It's so thick. <laughs> I fed this to Malcolm before. I fed this to my Labrador before. I'm not, I can't sniff it, bro. <laughs> take a whiff. I take a whiff. God, please, please, no, please. No, I'm can't. no, I'm about to slap your can't. hand. No, it's going to fall. Please, please for the, the, the podcast. I swear to God. I'm not, I'm not, I swear to God. It's for the podcast and everyone. I already apologize to them. You're not. Dude, I, res I respect you and your traumas. You're not listening to me. You're not listening to me. I'm not sniffing it. I'm not. <laughs> sniff if I'm going to do this, I'm not sniffing it. 
If I smell it, I physically won't be able to put it in my mouth. I'm letting you know right now. If I smell that, I won't be able to go through with this. So if you want me to do this, I can't smell it. All right. I just have to bombard. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Let me. I have a headache. My head's hurting. Oh, God, bro. It smells so bad. It's like hitting the back of my throat. Dude, I have Pause. a headache. Why are you? Oh, my God, bro. Why do you do this? Why do you? Why oh, my God. It's, it's so, so thick. smooth. I told you, it's so thick. You are getting a federal <laughs> amount on your spoon. Oh, Oh my god, dude. That's what people use to lay bricks. Like, that is literally cement. That is... Oh my god. Oh, the smell gets worse the deeper it goes. Here. <laughs> Open up. Dude, I... No, I... <laughs> Craig, hey, bro, hey, my legs are touching. You know my legs don't touch. You know I don't like my legs touch. I, <laughs> dude, I'm quivering. <laughs> dude, go get the trash can. Grab you it. think I'm okay, kidding. Grab this. Take a spoon. <laughs> oh my god, it's so dense. <laughs> grab it's a spoon. so dense. Oh my god, the smell's getting close to me. Dude, my head is hurting. I can't, bro. I cannot. It's, it's It smells like a, a doggy kennel at Petco in here. More than that. No, no. Cam, look at mine and look at yours. Go pull up uh, whatever episode that was. Look at your chip and look at mine. Right. Matter of fact, dude, you should do this by yourself. No. Like, yes, you should. You deserve it. <sighs> You made me eat sardines afterwards. Dude, I'm not, you think I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, go get the damn trash can. Is this a superfood? What is this? 26 grams of protein? It's like, dude, I can't stop shaking. You think it, I'm kidding? It's like, my the back of my throat's getting like clogged. Oh, oh. All right. That literally smells like the Nutro wet food that I buy Ruby. <laughs> it smells like, no, it's definitely dog food. Oh, Straight from the spoonful. There's not even a All right. There's not even a bag in the trash can. <laughs> Bro, please, Cam, I'm starting to lose, like, motivation. There's not a bag. All right, on three. Ready? Show them how much you got. It smells awful. It smells so bad. Dude. No, no, put it over there because it's going to block the shot. Push more to the couch. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, my God. Try, where's the can? No, Let me bro. see the can. Let me no, see the can. No, I'm not doing anything for you. I'm not, bro. All right. Like, we're literally, we're doing this and ending the episode. We're, this, the episode's, uh, we might as well outro now. I'm, ready? Dude, Dude it's like, I got like different, like, layers to it. It's like cru crusty right here and then I smooth see, and then it's too. like gelatin. It's like going through like metamorphosis. It's like, <laughs> my God, it's on my finger. It's on my All right, ready? Trying Vegemite for the first time, the nastiest thing you could ever get, apparently. Apparently the nastiest topping you could ever eat. Here you go. Bottoms up, brother. Let's get it. I'm not going to lie. You have to put it in your mouth first. To Let's go. Up. Run, two, three. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god. <coughs> That's why you don't get that big of a mount. Oh my god. <gasps> no, you bastard! No, bro, it's a <laughs> it's hard. <I> can't. <laughs> it's stuck. <laughs> you took way too much. It's on the mic. You threw the you threw the Oh my god, you threw up. Oh, that water's not gonna make it better. It, it doesn't make it better. Oh my god, it's in your beard. Ah! Oh my god, it's like a scene out of Alien. Oh my god, I think that's actually thrown up. Oh. Oh. It's a damn horror scene down here. See, I've already sent my recovery. Dude, your eyes are bloodshot. Oh my God, it's in your beard. It's in your beard. It's in, dude, you took so much. You're... Don't eat it. Don't eat Oh my God, the floor. I told you, you <sighs> ruined it. You threw the damn spoon. What, what were you thinking? That was on the spoon? Yeah. They hit you. Yeah, it hit the mic, it hit my pants. And you threw it on the floor.
No, I threw my spoon into the trash. Or no, that's actually the 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 big glob that came out of your mouth. Oh my god. Andy, bro. The fact that you ever ate that in front of me. <sighs> my our Australian friends belong in prison. Oh no, y'all literally d like that's that is the f I can actually say that's probably one of the worst things I've ever eaten in my entire life. I peed. And the fact that you yeah, I no, peed a little bit. You, oh, oh, I thought you said puked. I said yes. I didn't know you, I didn't know you you urinated. It came out of everywhere. See, I was. Can you give me another water, dude. No, I can't see. <laughs> My lips are chapped now. It was so salty, dude. It was so bad. Can you please? No, I got you. The it's so wet. And there's not a bag. Yeah, give me that. No, please, you deserve. You deserve this. You deserve this. Take your hand I'm off peeing. your crotch. I'm peeing. I swear to God. I swear to God, I'm peeing right now, dog. I gotta go. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Oh my oh God. God. Yeah, literally, whoever made Vegemite, you suck. From the bottom of my heart, you absolutely suck. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching this episode of You Should Know Podcast. Uh, I'm traumatized. Dude, like, I'm never eating something if you don't tell me what it is ever again. I'm never doing it again. That was. I think I would have much rather ate the hot chip than that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That dude. That was. I There's know, no the way people eat that shit. There's no. Yeah. Like they put it on toast, dude. and just take spoonfuls. Oh, they belong in federal prison. Under. Oh my. God. I don't feel good anymore. <laughs> my happiness is gone. <laughs> I feel like an empty person. Oh my lord. I'm not bathing for another three weeks. All right. Well. We love all of you. Um, Happy New Year. If you're going to kiss somebody on New Year's, make sure you bring mints. And Don't eat Vegemite. And, oh, my. If you eat. Oh, my God. If you eat Vegemite and try to kiss somebody, you're you're out of there. Um, <laughs> V-I-H for this week's code. Get your good karma. Vegemite, Vegemite is, is horrible. Vegemite is horrible. Horrendous. Horrific. Any, horrific. Any adjective that you want to do. Hisselaneous. I mean, that's not a word, but... <laughs> I don't even know what English is. Yeah, it's... Where am I? English certainly isn't wherever that is bred from. We gotta take the, close, the cap on the oh Vegemite. Oh, God. Where is the Vegemite? I don't know. You need to watch out for your shoes. But uh, we love all of you. Have an amazing New Year. Next episode will officially be in 2023. We have a lot of big things and updates coming this way. Uh, again, shout out to Jared for winning the uh, Manscaped sweepstakes. Y'all keep... Letting Manscaped know how much you love them, how much you love us. There'll be more sweepstakes to come. We're not I, doing I this do in 2023. Yeah, I, I can't do the outro, bro. Like it's what a way to in 2022. What it a just, hey, it just can't end. Let's say on a serious note, what a great year 2022 it's was for the You Should Know podcast. Um, thank you so much. Fantastic year. We <laughs> love all of you. Thank you to co host He's Cam. about to throw up again. He, I feel like y'all don't understand. His gag reflex was actually <laughs> triggered, and there's slight vomit in that trash can that doesn't have a bag. So. uh yeah, shout out Uncle P, yours truly, Cause Cam. We uh, we'll see you on the new year. If you buy Vegemite, just unsubscribe. Cause yeah, just we, you don't belong here. Yeah, it's. I swear to God, if I see one comment saying this is so good, I'm blocking. Oh yeah, no, no. If you comment that, you might as well just, you might as well just unfollow because you're gonna get blocked. Oh, we should so. do this for twenty at the end of twenty twenty two. We should have him out. Y'all never seen Dragon's full body. He's got cute little legs. But, all right, go ahead and get ready to say your saying. All right, everybody, thank you so much for coming to this episode of the You Should Know Podcast and being here with us for all of 2022. 2023 is going to be an even better year. We got live shows coming, new merch coming, new stuff coming for the fans. It's just going to be a whole bunch of elevation here at the You Should Know Podcast. My name is Dragon. Behind me is P. That's co-host Cam. And we will see you in 2023. Bye, everybody. If anyone tries to try Vegemite, I guess duet us or tag it because. Yeah, I want to see y'all. I want to see y'all try Vegemite because it's the worst thing ever. But we love y'all. See you in 2023. Peace out. Have a great New Year's. Dude? Yeah, that's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. I don't feel good.